Instinct, starring Anthony Hopkins and Cuba Gooding Jr., was a prime example of how solid directing and good acting could bring to the screen a thoughtful, intriguing, and suspenseful story. The supporting cast included Donald Sutherland and Maura Tierney. When I read Instinct, it was the same thing. It was a really smart idea, and the, the words were very beautiful. Um, there are ideas in the movie that are extraordinary and complicated, um, and I really wanted to look at that. I want Instinct questions the notion of civilization. The ending had very radical ideas about it, about uh, these two men locked in their own existence and the collision of these two um, different personalities and how they needed each other and the resolution of that relationship was really intriguing to me and I thought it was just very powerful themes and I thought it would be a really interesting uh, project to be involved in. I found it very moving and I found the questions it asked very pertinent and uh, relevant to what's going on in the world today that's moving sort of so fast and and also the personal stories were also interesting the cast in that movie was like dream come true time you know cuba gooding is maybe as fun a human being has ever been born the best the best Maura tierney who is one of the great underrated underestimated underused actresses couldn't be the combination of beautiful and funny and and smart and gifted is like uh, it's too much to handle i love john turtle's help that's all i have to say hey because he told me to it came down to more tyranny or a new actress who no one really had used yet um angelina jolie no oh. it came down to those two but i couldn't be i couldn't possibly be happier with more she was fan just fantastic the scene that first comes to mind when I think about moments I've had where I, I directed a scene and knew in the moment of shooting it, I was shooting a good scene, was a scene where Cuba is interrogating Anthony Hopkins and is pushing and pushing and he pushes a little far and Cuba thinks he has control in the situation. And Tony Hopkins turns it around and he grabs Cuba and throws him down on the table. And holds me down and puts duct tape on my mouth. And that was such an intense two days because emotionally as actors you're like, well yeah, you were very emotional in the scene. That was nothing. That's what we get paid to do. He popped his Achilles tendon during that scene. Because he, did, he didn't want his stunt double to do it. He wanted the actual physical uh, connection with the character. And at the end of the scene, he kind of went ow, 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 and kept going. And by the end of the scene, he told us it kind of really hurt. And by the end of the day, he was in the hospital and needed surgery and was in a cast for three months. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Anthony Hopkins. I'm the one. One in control, huh? Yes. Who's in control? Who's in control? I don't know about the whole movie. But any 10 minutes of instinct, I think, are as good as any 10 minutes in any other movie I've done. The whole doesn't come together as often or as well as I'd like it to. But the moments, the scenes, the pieces in that movie, I think, are really interesting. I would stack any 5 to 10 minutes of instinct against any 5 to 10 minutes of any other movie I did. Whether the whole thing works or not, that's another story.